in St. Louis, Missouri. They call it bragging rights. For 38 years, Illinois and Missouri have gathered to battle their neighbor for the right to say that they are the best for at least another year. And for the first time tonight, BTN is on hand for the bragging rights matchup presented by Jeep. The Missouri Tigers, the Illinois fighting the Lion Eye with bragging rights on the line. I get everybody alongside Stephen Bardo. I'm Kevin Kugler. This place is packed. The energy is great. And both teams are playing their best basketball of the year. Illinois won two straight. Missouri's won four straight. And I say all that stuff, and I realize, Stephen, none of it matters because it's bragging rights, right? That's exactly right. It's a game that's hard to really describe, Kevin, in terms of the energy that's in the building. It's not like a conference game. It's not like an NCAA tournament game. But it's got characteristics of both. It's going to be an exciting matchup. Just what we needed, a little extra energy added to this one because when you look at the Missouri starting lineup, you're going to see three of the five players in that starting lineup that were either on the Illinois roster last year like Mark Smith or were commits to Illinois like Jeremiah Tillman and Javon Pickett. And so we're going to have to see if these young guys can handle the pressure and the vitriol that will come from the Illini fans. And it will be interesting to see if they can maintain their composure in this unique environment. Well, the third member of our crew tonight is Andy Katz. And Andy, how does Illinois coach Brad Underwood feel about those Tigers with Illini ties? Well, actually, Kevin, there's no animosity coming from Brad Underwood on those three players, notably Mark Smith, who a year ago played for him in this game, contributing 11 points in that Illini victory. Brad actually told me, he said, look, I wish only but the best for Mark Smith. I'm not that kind of guy. When I talked to Conzo Martin earlier this afternoon about this, he said, I may have to settle Mark Smith down before this game. I don't know if we've ever seen this before. One guy plays in the game last year, and the next year, he's with the other team. Back to you, Kevin. Well, Brad Underwood had Mark Smith starting for him last year. Conzo Martin has Mark Smith starting for him this year. Opposite sides of the court. And when Mark Smith came out, Stephen, to come out of the Missouri Tunnel, he had to go right by the Illinois players who were warming up. A lot of them his former teammates. He had blinders on. Didn't look at any of them. Didn't greet any of them. He's focused on what he has to do tonight for Missouri. Well, it's so fun that this young man is involved because he grew up in this area. So not only has he played in this game, but he understands the importance of it. Here we go. And unlike any other game, there's always going to be noise here. Yes. One half of the stadium is always going to be yelling. And it's going to be interesting that most of the fans will stand the entire time. Kevin Furrier in his 100th career start a turnover. And the Illinois half with the first cheer of the night. Yeah, and you, this is what Illinois wants to do. They want to force turnovers, get multiple opportunities. One of the best in the Big Ten at doing so. Kipper Nichols will hand it off to Trent Frazier, who was terrific in this matchup last year at 22 points against the Tigers. Trent Frazier's a, a gamer, as is Kipper Nichols. I mean, these guys, they understand what's at stake, as do the Missouri players. Everybody's standing right now at the Enterprise Center. These seats aren't going to get used much tonight. <laughs> the handoff to Frazier with a shot clock at six. Here's Nichols for three. And it dies on the backboard. Jeremiah Tillman, who's been under the weather this week, didn't participate in shoot around today, but he gets the rebound. Geist on the drive. No, the tip try, no. There's Tillman with the foul. Nice job by Geist getting to the rim. That collapsed. The Illini on the glass, and they were able to take advantage. Frazier with the quick answer from deep. Uh, Trent Frazier's got the neon green light, so anytime he is open and feels good, he'll let it fly. A little bit of push it and shove it already in the backcourt as Geist working against the freshman Ayo Dosumu, and Dosumu with the foul. So you can already see the officials are trying to talk to the players on both sides. We've got a great official tonight, but they're going to get their they're going to get their money's worth. Terry Weimer, Terry Oglesby, Rob Riley, our crew here in St. Louis. Jordan Geist. And a whistle, and it's going the other way. And now some more talking between Geist and Dosumu. And a double technical has been assessed, and that's the second foul on Dosumu. Yep, and, and we just talked about it, Terry Oglesby. Got both of them. He's trying to establish a certain level of, I guess, ability <laughs> early in the game. Well, the foul happens away from the ball on Jeremiah Tillman. 
So what had happened before was Dosumu wouldn't pick the ball up and give it to Geist after the made three on the other end. And so Geist says, I'm not giving you the ball now. And the double tech assessed, but that's more important for Illinois because Dosumu already with his second foul. That's exactly right. So that's a young player allowing the tension in the building to affect them coming out. It's very tense in here, I'm telling you. We're trying to give you, ladies and gentlemen, the feel of what it's like. For a young man from Chicago, the tension may yes. have been a little too much to start. I agree. Kipper Nichols backing it out. Bishanishvili with the handoff to Frazier. Four to shoot. Frazier's three. It falls. Well, it looks like he could have a big night, Kevin. I mean, he's getting his shot anytime he wants it. And Geist with the turnover. Andres Feliz off the bench. Feliz with the fadeaway. Tell you what, Andres Feliz, he may be better suited to start this game. Being a little bit older, Kevin, and not getting caught up in the emotion. And he is in Geist right now. An 8 0 burst for Illinois. They've won five straight in the series. The entry to Tillman is down low. Jeremiah Tillman picking up right where he left off the Xavier game. Dominant on both ends, stayed out of foul trouble. How good was he against Xavier, Stephen? 23 points, 10 rebounds. I mean, he looked like one of the premier bigs in the nation, not only in the SEC conference. I mean, he really handled a, a very physical front line of Xavier. And Nichols got the double and took a step through it, the turnover back to Missouri. Brad Underwood urging his team to pick up full court. What a start to this one. Another pump. Jordan Geist trying to turn the corner. Gets to the rim. And the rebound for Bishana Spillet. Well, Alana, I'd like to shoot quick threes in this situation. Nichols with the two. Alana look really confident right now. They, they're getting any shot they want in the half-court set. Missouri's got to keep feeding Tillman. Courier took a step. No, a foul. The blocking foul on Aaron Jordan, his first. Let's take a look. You see Kevin Perrier right there. Dribble penetration. That's a good idea by Aaron Jordan because when you have a big handling the basketball in that scenario, they typically don't control themselves. It was fortunate for Mizzou. He didn't get picked up for the foul. Inbound to Tillman. Working against Nichols. Interesting matchup here. And the turnover. Frazier trying to accelerate. Pushes it ahead. And the layup by Felice. Oh, Missouri looks a little rattled, Kevin. They've really had some unforced turnovers here to start the game. Already three Missouri turnovers. There have been three games this year where Missouri's turned it over more than their opponent. There's number four. All three of those games have been losses for Missouri this year. Iowa State, they had 25 turnovers. 14 against Kansas State. 15 against Temple. The only three times this season their turnovers have outdone their opponents. Yeah, so this is a classic battle of a team that wants to be controlled in Missouri and a team that wants to get you out of your pace a little bit meaning the Illini and so who can impose their will here early it looks like the Illini doing better thus far Xavier Pinson doing a little jawing with Trent Frazier awaiting the inbound another youngster from Chicago hey, I'm telling you this is a unique environment you feel it when you come out here to, in the warm-ups you know it's a special situation and it's taken away by Reed Nico now Pinson on the push here's Mark Smith the boos come from the Illinois side. It doesn't matter for Mark Smith with the three. And look at him. He is happy, smiling, confident. Best three-point shooter in the SEC this season. Feliz, he's been good early, but a turnover. Pinson gets control. Geist finds Pinson wide open three. Boy, nice response by Mizzou. Didn't get down. They made a couple changes in the backcourt. Pinson looks confident, as does Mark Smith. Mm -hmm. 
Here's Frazier off the handoff. Can't quiet the Missouri crowd. Smith, long pass ahead. Good catch by Nickel. But a whistle and a trap. Fifth turnover for Missouri and a timeout on the floor. Well, let's take a look. Mark Smith, first attempt. Nothing but cotton. Watch the response. Young man's having fun here in St. Louis. This basketball on BTN is presented by Jeep. Hurry in for great deals at the Jeep Big Finish sales event. And brought to you by State Farm, here to help life go right. Talk to a State Farm agent today. Back in St. Louis, Kevin Kugler alongside Stephen Barno with Andy Katz working the sidelines. Happy holidays to you and yours. What a way to start the holiday weekend. Bragging rights and Missouri falling into a trap that Illinois wants him to fall into. Coughing up the basketball. Five turnovers, only four field goals. Yeah, you're right, Kevin. And I, I think what's happened is they got sped up a little bit. They've taken Geist off the point guard position and brought in Xavier Pinson. They seem to have settled down as a result for Missouri. Tyler Underwood off the bench early for Illinois. 13 to shoot. The three at the top rattles off. No good for Williams. And Missouri will bring it up the floor with Mark Smith. Missouri is really bringing three to four people back to defensive rebound. They're doing a good job of only giving the line at one attempt. Adonis De La Rosa out to double. Pinson in some trouble. Diving on it is Jordan. And the tie-up with the possession arrow giving it back to Illinois. Oh, great hustle. Aaron Jordan getting after it. Double team. Pinson there in the corner. Freshman's got to understand. That's Coffin's corner over there. Good job by the Illini. Staying aggressive, not quitting on the play and forcing the turnover. Aaron Jordan's one of those old heads in this rivalry. He was, he was saying earlier in the week, he remembers guys telling him how this game would be, and he said, now it's his job mm -hmm. to pass that information on to the youngsters as to what this was going to be like. That's right. And now he'll try the three, and he'll hit. Boy, that, that was a miscommunication by Mizzou that time on a simple screen and roll exchange. Can't leave Aaron Jordan wide open like that. He'll knock that down more often than not. Illinois three for five to start from distance tonight. Courier, the skip to Pinson for three, and the answer is an air ball out of bounds. It'll belong to Illinois. So Mark Smith put two hands up <laughs> to Pinson, like, settle down, young fella. Pinson gets a little upset. You know, you're a freshman. You're in this game. It's a new feeling for you now. It looks like Pinson's going to the bench and getting some instruction from Conzo Mark. We've had some good games early, have these Tigers, but this stage a little bit bigger, especially when you're from Simeon in Chicago. That's right. And Kevin, you, you said it correctly. Everybody in Chicago is happy about that. <laughs> Looking for room. Back out. Deep three for Jordan. And Tilt, big rip of the rebound. Shaunis Vili is really not having a factor right now because of Tillman. There's Smith barreling towards the basket. Won't go. Rebound Williams. Good no call by the officials. Five point Illinois lead. Williams pulling the trigger on the three. Way off the mark. See you're seeing uncharacteristic things Kevin. What that indicates to me these guys still haven't settled down from this energy in this building. Quick shots. Uncharacteristic play. Tillman got a little deep under the rim, missed that one. And now Illinois up the floor with Frazier, who's had a hot hand early. Bishanish Billy in the corner. That three will not go. The freshman can hit from out there, but he's had a slow start to the season from three, just four of 19. He has. I, anytime you're new and you're trying to play the style that Brad Underwood likes, one, you've got to be in a certain amount of conditioning to be able to play as hard as he wants you to play on the defensive end and still have legs on the offensive end. Guys trying to turn the corner. Here's Smith with a deep three. Dies on the rim. Good box out by Jordan. He would not let Tillman anywhere near that ball. Uh, that, that was textbook, Kevin. You called that. Aaron Jordan giving up height and weight. Doesn't matter. Big heart on that exchange. Illinois has been throwing them up from deep. Eight of their 12 attempts have been from three. Williams, a rare two. Maybe that's why they're shooting threes. Tillman patrol in the middle. I like Jeremiah Tillman. Standing strong, building the wall. 
not wasn't feeling good coming into the game, but you can't tell the way he's playing right now. One thing about the recent history of bragging rights, Stephen Bardo, is that when you get bragging rights, more often than not, you're keeping it for a while. It's been very streaky. It is streaky, and it's kind of interesting just to see that four, cons not consecutive, but four streaks like that. Kind of fun. You know, Missouri and Illinois with Illinois up 5, 15 to 10. Andy Katz had a chance to eavesdrop in the Missouri huddle. Andy, what'd you hear? All right, thank you, Kevin. I just was listening to the Missouri huddle and Conzo, Stephen, I'll tell you, he kept stressing, keep the ball moving and make sure when you get it that you are shot ready. Back to you, Steve. Yeah, Andy, you're exactly right because this pressure is forcing turnovers if they're not shot ready. Then that plays into the hand of the Illini defensively. Let's see if Missouri can capitalize. A nice defensive possession there. Let's see if they can do exactly what Andy just reported in terms of get hot pepper on the basketball. Get it out of your hands if you don't have a play to make. Yeah, Tillman's two of three. The rest of the team's just two for eight in this first half. Driving inside, Javon Pickett. Strong take to the hole. Well, you can tell that Javon Pickett's got a tremendous upside with his length. Long arms, good active body as a freshman well, from the Metro East area. Conzo Martin played, or paid a very big compliment when we were talking with him earlier today to Javon Pickett and Mark Smith and said, these two guys are two of the best I've ever been around in terms of approach. And you even made him clarify, you said ever, and he said ever, pro, college, anywhere. In terms of their approach to the game, how they prepare themselves, that's high praise for those two because they're still young in this game. They are young, Kevin, and he even mentioned diet. When you try to get a young guy to quit eating bad food, <laughs> that's hard. Pickett with the foul there, a little chicken wing there to get a little space, picks up his first, team's third. So you see Williams and Pickett having a little exchange. You're going to see this all night long, guys talking back and forth. There's going to be some shoving, some bumping, some, you know, wishing Merry Christmas to each other. A lot of that going on. Well, if you clicked your channel over late, you missed a double technical a minute and a half into this game between Io Dosumo and Jordan Geis that was actually the second foul for Dosumu and set him down on the bench. And so that, that shows the inexperience of the freshman not, not understanding how important his presence is and, you know, lose the battle to win the war. Frazier strong on that jumper. Nico plucks the rebound. Missouri down three. Here's Geis trying to tie it, and he does. Well, Geis, I really like his moxie. He's got some swagger. He's tough. That's a big-time shot. And Dosumu back out there now for Illinois with those two fouls. A little confidence being shown in the freshman by Brad Underwood. Yeah, and let's hope he doesn't come back out and play on eggshells, which is typical. Oh, nice move by Bishanishvili, and he got the roll. Yeah, Jordan needed to get going there offensively, understanding that Reed Nico gonna have a hard time staying up with him one on one. Guys still bring it up. Police is there. Guys turn in the corner. Step back three for Guys. Oh. Back to back from deep. This guy's a gamer. I'm telling you. They better be ready to guard him when he catches. Bishanish Billy short on the three. Guys to push. Doesn't have numbers. Doesn't care. Missouri with a four-point lead. And now let's take a look at this message from Zip Recruiter, the smartest way to hire and the official hiring partner of the Big Ten Conference. Hiring delays were causing work to pile up. That's not smart. But you know what is smart? Using Zip Recruiter. They find people with the right skills, education, and experience for my job and actively invite them to apply. So I got qualified candidates fast. No wonder ZipRecruiter is rated number one by employers in the U.S. ZipRecruiter, official hiring partner of the Big Ten Conference. Try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash Big Ten. A lot of smiles on the Missouri side right now. That's because the hot hand belongs to Jordan Geist. Jordan Geist is a gamer. And these are not easy shots off the bounce. 
Dri drives his defender off, step back, holds the follow through up, the confidence. Guys, putting the Missouri Tigers ahead. Three straight from deep for Geist. He's got nine. Trent Frazier trying to get Illinois back to work again. De La Rosa inside and a reach-in foul. Is it going to go on Nico or is it going to go on Geist on the reach? And it'll go on Reed Nico. That's a break for Missouri. Would have been number two on Geist. Yeah, and that would have really hurt Missouri because you don't want your hot hand to go to the bench. So now Tillman back in the game. I think, I think Brad Underwood wants to get De La Rosa to get into the the depth of the front line. So De La Rosa may get his number called once again here. Jordan on the run. The hook won't go. De La Rosa trying for the rebound, but he had a little push there and commits the personal, his first team's fifth. Missouri's doing an outstanding job on the defensive glass. Some of the best box outs I've seen in this college basketball season that we've already been has already been on display here by Missouri. Missouri out rebounding the line 11 to 6 right now. Illinois just one for their last nine as Conzo Martin's team is clamped down defensively. Here's Geist keeping the dribble alive, harassed by Felice. Working hard with 14 to shoot in the corner. Open three. Watson can't get that one to fall. Della Rosa with the rebound. The level of physicality in this game resembles a conference game. Battling for it, Frazier able to stay in the front court by about half a shoe. <laughs> Rob Riley was right on top of him. Splits two defenders. Frazier on the drive. Blocking foul. Unbelievable concentration by Trent Frazier. But Mark Smith looked like he was set, but he may have. Oh, it looks like he was still moving. That's a nice, aggressive take. Splits the double team, gets in, and what saved him, Kevin, he jumped to the left. It's a great move by Trent Frazier. First foul on Smith. Frazier to the line for one more. I see Terry Weimer going over to Conzo Martin explaining that exchange right there. Conzo not happy with the call. Frazier to the line. The first free throw attempt for either team tonight. And De La Rosa with a little violation. Never mind. No attempt. When's the last time you've seen a free throw violation, Kevin? Again, I, none this year for sure. And I, and I hope viewers, I'm, I'm trying to paint this picture for you, how crazy it is in here. You're going to see things that you're not accustomed to seeing because of this unique energy level. There is a tension in this building, and it seesaws back and forth depending on what side of the floor you're on. Smith hearing it from Illinois fans as Missouri goes into the Illinois end of this arena in the first half. Pinson on the take and he's fouled. Trent Frazier defending picks up his first, team's sixth. And a timeout on the floor. Bragging rights, everything we expected it to be early on. It's a rivalry contest on the floor and with the cheerleaders as well. They hold the cheerleaders aloft, and the team that has the last cheerleader standing wins. So Missouri wins the rivalry cheerleader lift contest. And they, and they won in impressive fashion. Yes, they dominated. That, that's a shot, ladies and gentlemen, that they're still up there. Now, Stephen, this is the lane violation that we saw a moment ago. I mean... It wasn't subtle, especially when you're seven feet tall, but you don't see it very often prior to the shooting of a free throw. And this is a graduate transfer. It's not a freshman like Don Sumu. So, you know, this is, again, yet another example. Pinson with the first. We check in with Andy Katz. 
Just listening to the Illinois huddle and Brad Underwood stressed that yet again, De La Rosa, that you cannot have that kind of lean violation. But most importantly, on the defensive side, he kept telling them, keep up the ball pressure. Make sure you keep up that ball pressure. Back to you guys. Andy, thanks. Xavier Pinson, that settles you down a little bit. You hit a jumper from three, you get a couple of free throws going. He's got five points in this one with Missouri up by four. Bumped, and there's Pinson with the foul. His first, team's sixth. What I think right now with Illinois, they started five of six field goals. They're three of 13 cents, and we've seen a lot of quick threes. And I would expect Brad Underwood to go to more set plays to finish the half just to get some continuity for the Illini. And Tyler Underwood in to trigger this one in for Illinois. Bill Sunmu on the bench. Got to go tap your depth a little bit in the backcourt. See how Underwood handles this assignment. Picked up two fouls to Dosumo in the first 90 seconds. Bishanis Billy, that's an offensive foul. He picks up his second. And now foul problems aplenty for Brad Underwood's team. Uh, he got his chicken wing out there, so pretty easy call. Conzo Martin looks like he's still playing. <laughs> the intensity has not left the face of Conzo Martin in decades. And then a turnover on the other end, intercepted by Aaron Jordan. Trent Frazier, quick three in transition, and Frazier, who had the hot hand early, his third three. He's got 11, and Illinois within one. Well, that's a big time shot. You know, we talked about the Illini I'd like to look for those threes in transition. Oh, what a feed! Underhanded to Mitchell Smith. Oh, this is fun. We told you guys they called the bragging rights for a reason. You'll see high level play. Frazier used to some high level play in this series. 33 points in the last three halves against Missouri for Trent Frazier. Shot clock winding down. Entry pass inside and Bishanis Billy with the bucket. Really good patience by the Illini that time. Kipper Nichols waited for Georgie to free himself up, deliver the pass. Pinson against Nichols. Mismatch here. Smith against Underwood, lobbing it down low to Tillman. Tillman, the reverse, Underwood, the rebound. Tillman's got to just come down and secure possession and get it out to a teammate. Frazier, open for the step back. Last night, I saw a young man get hot from three and get an NCAA record. I don't know if we'll see that tonight, but Trent Frazier heating up. Four for four from deep. Pinson working the dribble, driving in on Underwood. No rebound, tipped out of bounds off Frazier. It'll stay with Missouri with 12 to shoot. We got to go to look at this assist again. Our State Farm assist of the game. Look at that feed. That's a beautiful. It's not even a pocket pass because he was out of the three-point line. Look at that underhand flip. Down low to Mitchell Smith. Excellent look by Xavier Pence. I'm not sure what's more impressive about that pass, Stephen. The velocity underhand or the accuracy underhand with that pass? Yeah, that's a great question because both of them were very impressive. And a turnover. No, no turnover. It's going to belong still to Missouri. Brad Underwood's perplexed. Now they're going to switch it around. I was, yeah, going to say, I was going to say, that didn't touch anything. And that's Kevin per year. I don't understand. He, you can go get the basketball in that scenario. He, he doesn't understand the rules. Yeah, it's not an over and back. No, you got to go get that. Dosumu back out there. Ninth Missouri turnover as Illinois looks to extend the lead. Missing De La Rosa on the post. Dosumu the pull up jumper. Oh, Jordan crashing for the board in the finish. You love to see veterans in this game, whether they're from Missouri or Illinois, because you see almost Herculean efforts. Jordan out of Plainfield, Illinois. He's got five points and a couple of boards and a foul now whistled. 
as Geis turns the corner Andres Felice with his first one and one now for Missouri listen good sign for Missouri to get into the fouls of the line so they can each trip they have an opportunity to get to the free throw line kind of catch their breath you see guys you know really trying to get air it's a lot of effort being extended one more free throw for Jordan guys he played a year at Ranger College for Billy Gillespie in his route to get here to Missouri and he's one of those guys that you can see it in this game already tonight he's one of those guys that if he's on your team you absolutely love him but everybody else fans and opponents I'm sure they hate him. yeah I, I like players like that absolutely yeah I, I mean they're gamers and you know he hit those three threes to get them right back the lead and, and feel good about themselves doing an excellent job here in the first half he's an ag major wants to farm when he's done with his basketball career Michael Nichols turning the corner gets to the ring bucket and a foul now Kipper Nichols can score I mean he's got a unique skill set that will allow him to hit the long range shot but he can put it on the deck and he's got that strong body able to finish through contact second foul on Reed Nico sends the big junior to the bench Kipper Nichols to the line looking for point number five on the night and Illinois up by five so similar to the graphic that we showed where Missouri had won a certain amount and then Illinois won a certain amount it seems like the game is flowing like that exchanging runs by each team Missouri's largest lead four Illinois's largest lead eight Illini with a five-point advantage now open in the corner Javon Pickett with an answer from deep really good patience by Geist he took the double team he looked inside didn't see it went to pick it De La Rosa with a good screen the bounce down low to the big man can't finish and then a foul on per year his first eighth team foul and a one and one opportunity for Adonis De La Rosa so now the Illini are in the penalty so both teams I would expect not to shoot so many quick threes but to get into the paint via the, the bounce or the pass De La Rosa looking for his first points and I hasn't played the last two games until tonight slowly working his way back from a knee injury the grad transfer from Kent State barely draws iron on the front end he's been pressed into service here in the first half and due to the size of the Missouri front line Geist De La Rosa came out to show a double Geist spinning inside tough shot won't go tip is up and in Jeremiah Tillman with six and a whistle and an offensive foul on Andres Felice his second that's Felice with two Dosuma with two Bishanis Billy with two that's three Illini in foul trouble to start off this ball game one guy not in foul trouble Trent Frazier who has been raining them down from deep Frazier four for four from three but what a ball game in St. Louis tied at 32. 354 remaining in the first half each team even at 32 each team shooting 50 percent in the first half it's as even as it can be Andy Katz is standing by with a very special guest all right thank you Kevin here with Illinois football coach Lovey Smith now it's hard to sort of duplicate this kind of noise on the football field what do you think of this rivalry between Illinois and Missouri love it that's exactly the reason why we should be playing in football mm. there's nothing like two schools that are close by both love their university and it's a great game now we're in St. Louis you've had some recruiting success whether it's incoming freshman next fall or a transfer from Miami a quarterback wide receiver what did you need to do from this area in terms of getting players either to come back or from St. Louis? Well, we want to keep our guys, the local guys, home. It's as simple as that. A lot of great high school coaches, a lot of great programs, and we want to add them to our program. Appreciate it, Lovey. Thank you. Thank you. Each side had something to cheer about there. Samba Kane with the block, and then Missouri able to recover and get the two to take the lead. It'd be interesting to see what, what kind of effect Kane can have 
in the latter part portion of this first half. Frazier's first miss, the contested three in the corner. First miss from deep, that is. Four for five from three, five for eight for the game. There's Geist against Frazier. Back to Smith. Entry pass to Tillman. They show the double, now one-on-one, -on -one, and Tillman lost it. Samba Kane wins that battle. Well, Samba Kane's got, definitely got the height to match up with Tillman. That time he pulled the chair out. Tillman's trying to feel, try to feel. Ball just comes out and loses balance. You watch Samba Kane, you're watching a guy who still learning this game. He was a soccer midfielder from Dakar, Senegal. And he didn't like basketball at first. He was not a basketball guy, but he kept growing. Yeah. Now he's seven feet tall. He says, look, I, I'm, I'm getting it, but I can run with anybody. I still have that soccer endurance. You want me to run up and down the court all day? I'll run. Yeah. And you know what? It's just a matter of time. If he continues to work hard, he will develop himself. And I tell you what, he will be quite a weapon for the Illini moving forward. Sets the screen. Frazier trying to get through. Back out to Jordan. Fakes the three. Nichols with the open look from deep. Rims out. Jordan, another rebound. Aaron Jordan doing some work on the glass. He's got three boards. Nichols, another rim out. Kane with the rebound and a foul. He turned into Tillman, and Tillman's going to pick up the personal. That's big because it's number two on Tillman. And Tillman's hot because he took a shot to the jaw. He's looking at around at the officials. Take a look. Kane right there. Is, it, it's a basketball play. It wasn't intentional. I'm glad the officials didn't go to the, the monitor. Just a regular basketball play. I'm not sure Tillman agrees. <laughs> yeah, and, that, and you know what? He's got to understand something. That these are three veteran officials. They're even talking to him. Free throw no good. Kane one for seven this year at the line. Missouri going to a set call here. There's Geist. Tillman with the screen. Back to Tillman on the drive and a whistle and a foul. Kipper Nichols picks up his first. Tenth team foul. Two shots coming. Kipper Nichols, one of the better Illini at drawing charges, just is not able to get set in time. Tell you, Tillman didn't make that, but boy, he showed some great body control for a big fella catching on the move and making a play. 71% on the year for Tillman. Six points, eight rebounds in the first half. Stay tuned for the State Farm Halftime Report. Mike Hall and John Crispin just finishing their halftime massages or the ones they get right before <laughs> halftime in our BTN studios in Chicago. And Mike and John will... Get all ready to go for the State Farm Halftime Report. You guys in studio, when you're in there those nights, I mean, lap of luxury. Yeah, right. I tell you what, though. Mike Hall is on pins and needles right I know. now. That's a proud Missouri alum. Well, this is a house divided here in St. Louis. That's a man divided. That's right. Yes. Working for the Big Ten Network. Yes. Missouri alum. Uh, family members, Illini and his family. Pacing like an expectant father in the green room. <laughs> Purrier going to work against Jordan. Turns to the rim and Purrier lays it in. See, I, that's smart by Missouri. They have an obvious size advantage at that position. That's the first time they've taken advantage of it. Biggest lead of the night for Missouri at five on a 10 nothing run to get to this lead. Demonte Williams are working around to Jordan. Jordan bumped by Smith. 13 to shoot. Underwood trying to feed it to Williams, who's being muscled by Javon Pickett in a turnover for Illinois. So this isn't this game is not in for the weak at heart. You've got to be physical. You've got to establish yourself. There's a look. Watch the contact. Demonte looking for a foul, but. This, this is bragging rights. This is a different game. You can expect the game to be more officiated like an NCAA tournament game in this one. Yeah. And maybe any others in the non-conference. I, I, look, we get the benefit of talking to the officials before the game. They did research. They know this. They know the situation with Mark Smith, Pickett, Tillman, about them having a tie with the Illini. 
So they're very aware of what's going on. Calling for it is Perrier. Perrier going to work. A little up and under. But the hook won't go. Kipper Nichols the rebound. But a quiet night for Perrier. Just two points. I still like that shot. That's a high quality attempt for the Mizzou. Frazier looking for the three point line. He found it again. Oh my goodness. Talking about a young microwave. Trent Frazier heating up. Five for six from deep. He's got a game high 17. Geist in trouble. Needs some help. 13 for Pickett on the shot clock. Courier back out to Pickett with seven to shoot. Driving inside. Good wraparound pass and nickel with a two hand stop. I tell you what, Pickett, man, that was a great play. He avoided a couple situations where it looked like he might have gotten a turnover, Kevin, and then laid a beautiful pass on the interior. Trent Frazier looks to his coach, now goes to work. Frazier, beautiful crossover, fadeaway two. Geist the rebound. Missouri can hold for the final shot. All oh, an unbelievably entertaining first half. It sure has been. And I didn't mind that shot by Trent Frazier. He's got the hot hand. Let him go for it. Our State Farm halftime report is seconds away. But with that timeout called by Missouri, it gives Mike Hall and John Crispin one last beignet to finish up before they get onto the set. Well, Trent Frazier for Illinois, Stephen Bardo, knows what it takes in this series. 39 points in his career in a game and a half against Missouri, 17 tonight. Yeah, he understands that the Illini have gone through offensive droughts in the first half, and he's got to help them get out of that. That was a terrific concentration move there at the rim through contact, coming off the break. Pushing the defense off, getting back. Nice job by Trent Frazier with the hot hand. He may be from Wellington, Florida, but he knows about the bragging rights game. Yeah, he's a quick study. <laughs> he saw what it meant last season, and he was ready to play tonight. So 17.2 seconds remaining in this first half. What do you think Conzo Martin was talking about in that huddle? What's he want to see from his offense here? I think he wants to go to Kevin per year, per year if he's got the right matchup. But either watch Geist going at a high screen and roll more than likely as the shot clock winds down. Mark Smith has been quiet as well. He hit that three, celebrated it demonstratively, and has not scored since. The former Illinois Fighting Illini member against his former mates. Here we go. Per year with 13 seconds to work. Boy, Trent Fraser is doing a fantastic job tonight. Eight seconds remaining in this first half. Missouri by four. Four seconds. Geist fakes, now fires the three. No good. Frazier hoists it from three-quarter court. And one of the rare deep misses for Trent Frazier. Missouri into the locker room with a four-point lead. They're 6-0 and this year. When leading at halftime, trying to get their first win in six tries against Illinois. Andy Katz is standing by, standing by with Conzo Martin. All right, thank you, Kevin. Conzo, how would you describe the intensity of this first half? Sensational. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Great atmosphere. It's what we expect. Are your team extremely active in that first 20? What are you going to tell them when you get in the locker room? Same way, stay aggressive. You got to drive the ball against that pressure. You got to drive the ball, get to the rim, get to the free throw line. Thanks, Conzo. Thank you, Andy. Back to you, Kevin. Well, what a first half it was in St. Louis. And after 20 minutes of basketball, Missouri with a 39-35 lead. Mike Hall and John Crispin have the State Farm Halftime Report from our BTN studios in Chicago right after this. Trent Frazier's hot hand for Illinois, leading the way with 17 first-half points. But the answer came from Jordan Geis, three for four from deep. He had 11 in the first half. And Missouri with a four-point lead as we get ready to start the second here in St. Louis. Alongside Stephen Bardo, I'm Kevin Kugler. Well, that had about everything you'd want in a rivalry game. We've still got a half or more to go. Yeah, technical fouls, uh, uncharacteristic play, very even. Missouri took better care of the basketball latter half of the first half. I think that was their advantage. Well, we heard from Conzo Martin leaving the floor. Andy Katz had the chance to talk with Brad Underwood. What'd you find out there, Andy? Well, Kevin, I just talked to Brad, as you said, walking onto the floor, and he, I asked him, what did you stress in the locker room? He said, first of all, it's second chance points. Eight to two advantage for Missouri. On the offensive backboard, Missouri had six. They scored on four of them. Now, offensively for Illinois, Brad stressed to me, we're dribbling too much. we got to move the basketball. Back to you guys. Well, we'll see if they're able to do that. 
in the second half. The difference was at the foul line in that first half. Both teams had the exact number of field goals and three-pointers. That field goal giving Missouri its largest lead at six. That's a good job coming out of the halftime break, establishing the presence on the interior with Tillman. Tillman pulls it in on a double-double. Two fouls saddled him a little bit in that first half. Here's Nichols with 12 on the shot clock, able to bank it off the window. That's a that's a weight room move right there. A lot of contact. Kipper didn't mind. Jordan guys, Shanish Billy's pushing him out there a little bit more. We're back into Tillman again. Tillman going across the lane. Pickett has it knocked out of his hands. Here's Smith, the fade away from the elbow, and Jordan the rebound. That's number four on the boards for Aaron Jordan. Frazier, the pull-up three. He was hot on one end, and that one caroms off the leg of Geist and stays with Illinois. I think Bashanis Feely needs to get involved on the offensive end. You don't want your bigs to go multiple times without touching the basketball. They lose intensity. Just four points for the big man in this one. And he's an energy guy. That's you right. can't lose that energy with him out there. That's exactly right. Guys, a little crossover. Guys, looking inside, finds Tillman once more. You can see the game plan for Conzo Martin coming out of the locker room. Feed the big guy in the post. Yeah, make him be dominant. He's the best player on the floor for Missouri. And Bashanish Vili and the Illini are having a difficult time of corralling him. There's Nichols. Go up and under, finds the big man inside, and that's a foul. That'll go on Kevin Perrier, his second. And with just about two minutes gone in this second half, here's our Jeep on the floor. And in the middle, it's been Tillman, the guy you've gone to for Missouri on the floor. And for Illinois, you saw Trent Frazier come right out and say, am I going to be as hot on this end from three as I was on the other end of the floor? Yeah, you know what? He can miss five in a row, can Trent Frazier. He'll still have the confidence to take that sixth one. And tell you what, Jeremiah Tillman, I'd hate to see what he'd play like if he was healthy. I mean, he was feeling under the weather the last couple days. But he has been dominant, similar to their last game when they dominated Xavier. He's had a pretty good week, I'd say. 34 points and 18 rebounds in a game and a half yeah. against Xavier and Illinois. And there was, a, there's been a question about Jeremy Jeremiah Tillman. Does he have a motor? Well, the last couple games, he's definitely got a motor. And motor and through an illness that's kept him on the shelf during practice for a good portion of the week. Here's Geis, the kick to Perrier in the corner. The three falls and a big fist pump from his head coach behind him as he hits from deep. He's got five. I tell you, the Illini, if they're not able to turn you over early and Missouri gets a chance to settle in, their floor spacing has really been good. Missouri 7 of 11 tonight from three-point land. Second in the SEC this year at 39%. They're out doing that. A little hesitation. He kept that shot short. That was the third almost attempt that he had during that possession. He thought about the three early. He did, and you know what, Kevin, there's a saying, and you've heard me say it, when you study long, you study wrong. If you've got that first pass and you don't shoot it, you need to give it up. Geist with an open three. That one could have been deadly for Illinois. Long pass ahead, and Smith anticipates and takes it away from his former teammate. Now Geist right the back. push. I come right back to Smith. Geist says, I'll just take it right to the rim. Or maybe I'll just go with Jordan Geist. <laughs> How about that? Missouri with a big advantage. Del Subo gets to the rim. Man, that was an excellent inside-out change of pace by Ayo getting to the rim. First two for the freshman tonight. He's only averaged about eight points a game over the last five games, shooting 28% from the floor. So he's going through that freshman wall, having a little struggles. Maybe that layup can get him going. Off the Geist miss, here comes Frazier. Frazier barreling into Geist, and a blocking foul. Called on Geist. That'll be his second, and his first since the technical that he got as part of the double technical early in the first half. Geist trying to set up. Trent Frazier does a really good job of going at angles, trying to get past the shoulder of the defender. That time, Geist. Trent Frazier drawing the contact. 
Geist will sit down. Tillman will sit down. So the two focal points of the offense in the second half. And Geist is injured. He's holding his leg a little bit. Off the inbound. Bishanis Billy unable to get the three, but ripped away by Felice. And a huge bucket for Illinois. Uh, that's a guy saying, I'm going to take your lunch money. And that's exactly what he did. Here's Pinson. Working against Bishanishvili. No look inside. And a wraparound for Pickett. That's the second beautiful dime dropped by Xavier Pinson tonight. Xavier Pinson, Pickett. But Missouri has some really exciting freshmen. Time out on the floor, and this freshman showing his skills as a passer, Stephen. Yes, he is, and he's making Chicago Simeon proud. Hit pick it underneath the bucket. Missouri with a 50-43 lead, 15-43 remaining in this second half. Alongside Stephen Bardo, I'm Kevin Kugler, Andy Katz. Man on the sidelines tonight, Jordan Geist. Working on his leg on the sideline. He went out with a little bit of a limp. Looks like he's okay as he goes to sit down over there. But we'll keep an eye on that from Jordan Geis, who's been terrific tonight for Missouri and pacing them to the seven-point lead. And in a game like this, you want both teams full strength. You don't want anybody hurt. Hopefully no foul trouble. So hopefully he can just get some fluids and come back in and be stellar like he's been so far. Trigger to Samba Kane back to Frazier. <laughs> 18 to shoot for Frazier. 17 points all in the first half. Felice trying to turn the corner. The skip to Nichols in the corner for three. Jordan, or rather Williams and Smith tying up, battling for the rebound. Possession arrow will keep it on this side of the floor. Good hustle by both players, Smith. And Williams, knowing each other well, kind of smiling when they went to the deck. This exemplifies this rivalry right here. Going hard, tug of war, everything's clean. Nothing said, just get back up and play. KJ Santos on the floor for the first time tonight for Missouri. Missed the first eight games of this year with a foot injury, and he's been slowly working back in. We watched him quite a bit today in shoot-around. Looked like he was moving around pretty well. And I tell you what, he's got great, lively body at 6'8", 220. So it gives him yet another big body on the front line. Here's Frazier off the inbound for the three. Rattles around and falls. Number six from deep for Frazier. See, I've never had any of my shots do that because that's a scorer's <laughs> role. Nice job by Trent Frazier. Well, you were shooting pretty well on this floor earlier today. <laughs> and an offensive foul. That's number three on Jeremiah Tillman. He's shaking his head. He's just trying to establish himself on the post. And I think that emphasis this year when the offensive players spreads their arms out, the officials are really paying attention to that. I guess that happened before the got there. You know, he spread him out and he used the uh, derriere a little bit to clear some space. A little too much, yeah. according to our officiating crew. Well, as physical as this game is, you can use your derriere and someone <laughs> else's to try to get open. Police on the bounce to Nichols. Nichols driving into Tillman. And it's going the other way. Kipper Nichols with the foul. His second, Brad Underwood was praying that was going to be a block on Tillman and he get his fourth. And I think he, he felt like Tillman was inside the restricted arc and taking the charge. No, he was well outside of it. Excellent job by the big fella giving up his body, getting in position. Typically, you want to see bigs block shots, but he knew he wasn't in a position to do that. That was a really good decision by Jeremiah Tillman. Guys, back out there. He's going to bring it up. will take it into the paint. Needs to get rid of it. Does. Watson. Deep three. Good for Torrance Watson. His first made shot of the night. That was really good stepping up. That time, it looked like Felice helped a little bit too much. Mitchell made him pay. Frazier around the cane screen. Ball picked out of his hands by Tillman. Quick hands by the big man. 
Frazier with 10 to shoot. The no look for Williams. Back to Frazier. Has to launch from deep. Rattles off into the arms of Tillman. Missouri now looking to push. Geist on the attack, driving all the way, and then no, and Kane the rebound. Tomate Williams, excellent job defensively without fouling. Missouri got regathered, but Frazier didn't care. He floats that one home, and Illinois back within five. That's the way the Illini would like to play. Force a miss, get out on the break, score before the defense gets set up. I haven't mentioned it, Kevin, but Missouri has been really good here in the second half defensively. Tillman puts it on the deck and a foul is going to be called on Andres Feliz his third so watch the line they force a miss and now they're off to the races nice lead pass up ahead Trent Frazier probing the defense in a nice float Frazier with 22 points he had 22 last year against Missouri. He'll get a breather right now before the under 12 media timeout. I'll be surprised he doesn't crack the 30 point mark this evening. He has been aggressive and really the only Illini that's had any kind of success consistently. I was going to say, if he doesn't crack the 30 point mark, they probably don't win this game. I agree with you. Geist, shot clock at 10. Big screen set. Jordan picked off five to shoot. Courier, the attack, and a whistle, and an offensive foul. Kevin Courier with his third, and the turnover back to Illinois. Every coach in America would love to have an Aaron Jordan. He saw Kevin Courier handling the basketball. He tried to draw the foul in the first half, and he got called for a block. This time, he was Johnny on the spot. Good job of drawing that charge by Aaron Jordan. Read Nico back on the floor, Stephen, and that means Jeremiah Tillman sits down for a breather with those three fouls. 11 points, nine rebounds for Tillman. Yeah, Tillman putting in yeoman's work. Kevin, it took all this time for me to feel like I wanted to get back in this game. <laughs> I was holding on, but now the excitement level is so high, I want to put the jersey on. Release the kick into the corner. Open look for Dosumu, but he cannot connect from deep. Geist on the push in the corner to Watson, launching from three. No good. Rebound, Illinois. And now Dosumu looking to move. Doesn't have numbers. Splits three defenders. A lot of contact, and the ball stays in play to Missouri. Mark Smith, the skip, Geist, open three. In and out, Nico had it and lost it. This is the frenetic pace that the Alana I want to play at. Oh, and Dosumu trying to throw it behind the body, and he threw it away. And then Dosumu coming back, trying to get it from Geist, who almost walked with it. Now trapped in the corner. Geist is in trouble. Watson all alone. Open look. In and out. This place would have erupted. At least half of it if that one had gone down. Well, you're right about that because half of it, the Mizzou fans are on their feet right now. Well, what a frenetic exchange. Whew. Geist able to maintain possession even past the double team. And a foul away from the ball is going to slow this down. Mark Smith with his second. Deep breath, everybody. We still have 11.47 to play. Two of the top three conferences, at least as far as the AP poll is concerned, on display in this one tonight. The Big Ten with seven ranked. The SEC with four ranked teams. And our colleague John Crispin making the case earlier today that he thinks nine teams could get in from the Big Ten tournament, or in from the Big Ten into the NCAA tournament. Our Wendy's news and notes, one of the reasons why 10 Big Ten teams are ranked or receiving votes. The non-conference record for the Big Ten is a gaudy 105 and 29. And of course, Michigan is just fantastic. One of six remaining unbeaten teams in the country. They are, and Kevin, I think we were able to do their game against Western Michigan. I think Michigan is not playing their best basketball yet. And so that's scary. Yeah, it is scary. Consider who they've beaten this year. That's right. And the Big Ten has done their work in the non-conference slate compared to last season when they struggled. So I, I, I like what John Crispin said. I, I don't think that's too far out of the reach. Ten to shoot. Illinois down five. Frazier. Deep two. 
Not going to go. Mark Smith the rebound for Missouri. And now Smith will bring it up. He's been quiet tonight in his return against his former team. Yeah, and you know what? He had that look in his eye, Kevin. If he catches it this time, it's going up. Pinson driving inside. Good defense by Illinois. Now Frazier looking to push. Has numbers ahead to Jordan. Jordan, no, but a foul. Almost a man to one. But instead, he'll get two as Mark Smith has his third personal foul. The Illini are having success when they decide to push the rock. Able to get out on the break. That's a really good lead pass. As a veteran there, Jordan, you got to finish that. Five point deficit. Jordan to the line. One more for Jordan. He's had a nice game tonight. Six points, five rebounds, no turnovers in 22 minutes. And a, couple, uh, a, a charge or two drawn. You know, being in the right place at the right time is a really good help defender. Telling you, coaches would love to have an Aaron Jordan on their team. Illinois leading a rebounder this year, the 6'5 senior. He's leading tonight with five on the glass. Three point game again. Nobody can separate. What a surprise. <laughs> right? Missouri hasn't scored in three and a half minutes. Trying to find that rhythm again here with Geist. Geist in amongst the trees, in trouble. Tough shot. Got it to go. Yeah, I like Geist. I tell you, man, he's got some moxie. The tougher and the more physical it gets, he seems to be more efficient. Seventh game out of 11 this year in double figures. He's got a team high 15. Here's Nichols off the handoff. 12 to shoot. Entry pass to the post. One on one down low. Ishanish Dillon. Nice move down the baseline for the big freshman. That was really good patience. Georgie going along the baseline. And now the Illini fans trying to get into it. We watched Georgie consume an entire bag of peanut MMs before shoot around earlier today. Guys, this Frazier got popped in that scrum battling for the ball. The ball goes out of bounds, and it's going to belong to Illinois. I've had that happen. You get elbowed in the, the Adam's apple. Andy Katz had a chance to eavesdrop a moment ago in the huddle. Andy, what do you have for us? Well, in the huddle, Conzo Martin kept stressing to his players that when you make a shot, no more celebrating. Make sure you get back defensively and in the stance. But I can tell you, during that last timeout, the entire timeout, the athletic trainer was working on Geist's calves, both of them. And then he was stretching right here on the side of the court right before he went back in. Back to you guys. All right, Andy, thanks very much. They're going to look at this last play to make sure that when Frazier caught it in the throat, there wasn't anything malicious or flagrant, if you will, about that. That's going to be close. Yeah, I think they, I think they may do something there. Oh, no, it looks like a regular play. Just the way the arm came yeah. out, you wonder. I agree. And, you know, Trip Frazier is one of the toughest players in the Big Ten. If he stops cold and he's trying to catch his breath, you know he took a shot. One more look at this. Our camera crew right on the spot. Boy, what a shot. One that Frazier took and one that our cameras got. Yes, yes. Frazier staying out there, though. He's kind of gasping for air when that re review timeout came. Fortunate for Frazier that it did. Three-point game. The handoff to Felice. See, Mark Smith knows how to cover this action. Played for the line at last season. He's doing a really good job of denying a ball reverse. Four to shoot. Felice rejected by Tillman. Good defense by Missouri. 9.25 to play. Three-point game. Missouri trying to win its first bragging rights game in six seasons. Um, Watson. They missed they miss Tillman. Here's Geist. Bumped. Foul. Frazier with his second. Team's third. Well, next Saturday on BTN, catch a doubleheader of hoops as 15th ranked Ohio State battles high point. The number 10 Michigan State clashes with Northern Illinois. Big Ten basketball presented by Jeep next Saturday right here on BTN and the Fox Sports app. I've said it once, Kevin. You've heard me say it. I'm going to say it again. Ohio State may be the most underrated team in the nation. 
not just the Big Ten. They do not get enough respect of how sound they are. Nice pass out of the double by Geis. The skip down on the baseline now to pick it. One to shoot. They're not going to get a shot off, and they do not. Illinois, D and up. Scrambling defense, cutting off open looks. They're open for a second. The Illini are scrambling. It's a trademark of Brad Underwood's defense. And it's a defense that's been getting better and better down the stretch over the last six games. They allowed almost 85 points per game in the first four games this year. Since then, under 75 a game. Foul on Pickett. And that's going to send Trent Frazier to the line for a free throw opportunity here. Well, you talk about those numbers, Kevin. Gonzaga, Iowa State, Xavier throwing to Mississippi Valley State, then at Notre Dame, and then at Nebraska, and Ohio State and Chicago. That's a gauntlet of a schedule. Those are some of the nation's best teams that the Illini have faced already. Well, they came into tonight with a 17th best strength of schedule in the country, facing off five of the top 50 teams in the new power rankings, the net rankings. Yeah. I mean, this is a test that Brad Underwood's probably not going to want to do with a team as young and inexperienced as this Illinois team. Look at that gauntlet. I mean, Zaga. that's... Yeah. I, and, and a lot of those, the Gonzaga, Iowa State, Xavier, and then Notre Dame were all back to back to back. And, you know, for a young squad to learn under fire, that's tough. Front end of the one and one for Frazier falls. That's important because two missed free throws for Illinois in the first half. Both were front end of one and ones. Down by four at the break. That could have turned that halftime deficit into at least a tie. You're right. And th those are there's are really momentum killers. When you have an opportunity at a one on one, one and one, and you don't convert. It really takes a lot of momentum out of what you're trying to do. Five for five in this second half at the line, Illinois. Missouri has not attempted a second half free throw. Frazier good on both. He's got 24. And it's a one-point game with 8.35 to play. Everybody stand up. Yeah, why not? The bragging rights. That's all I got to say. Guys trying to turn the corner. Nothing there. Courier into the paint. And a foul. Kipper Nichols commits his third free throws coming, the first of the half for Missouri. And you know what? I, I like that because Missouri was one of their last seven from the field, taking a lot of contested jump shots. Per year knew he had a foot speed advantage, took, took it right to the rim. We thought at the beginning of this game, Stephen, that this was going to be a frenetic pace, a high-scoring game. Here we are with 8.20 to go, and it's turned into a slugfest. It really has, and you start to see the intensity ratchet up as the game goes along. I think the beer is taking effect <laughs> in, the, in the Not stadium. for us. No, thank you. No, no. Just want to clarify that. Yeah, thank you, Kevin. Keep, keeping me employed here. <laughs> Producer Alex Birchie is immediately sending off emails reminding us that we don't get to drink beer during games. His career well. <laughs> has one more free throw coming. I like Kevin per year. I think he is just scratching the surface on what he can bring this Mizzou team. He's got that really good body, left hander. Missed them both. Two big misses for Perrier at the line. Is a 75% shooter. So he's feeling the pressure of the Illini starting to make their run. Frazier, deep three. Was looking for Illinois' first lead since 32 to 30. Instead, Missouri will bring it up with a one-point advantage. Under eight to go. Geist on the spin. Tough pass for Smith. He'll fire anyway. That three no good. Rebound loose. Picked up Illinois. Here comes Frazier on the run. One-on-one -on -one against his former teammate. The pull-up off the window. Gives Illinois the lead. Look at this place. And a timeout taken by Missouri.
Well, Trent Frazier, knowing that the Illini need a bucket, I mean, degree of difficulty, 9.9 .9 on that shot. A little bit of a developing story here in St. Louis with Illinois up one. This was moments ago during the timeout on the Missouri sideline. That's Jordan Geist, and Jordan Geist is in a lot of pain with that left leg. He really is, and that's the cumulative effect that the Illini want to have on their opponents by making them play, get into their legs, tire them out. It's not unseasonably hot. We're in the middle of the season, so him cramping up is a, a direct result of how much intensity there is in this building. Andy Katz has been huddle eavesdropping again. What'd you hear this time, Andy? Well, Kevin, first of all, that's the exact same thing they were doing with Geist in the last time on. As for Illinois, the first thing they kept saying to them is stay composed. Brad Underwood was thrilled with their blockouts, and they kept telling them, drive the ball. Continue to drive the ball. Back to you guys. Per year, lobbing inside the Tillman. Tillman with the finish and the foul. Dosubu came over late, trying to contest and Tillman would not be denied. Jeremiah Tillman, this is the big fundamentals right here, keeping the ball high and knowing that he's got somebody coming from the offside. Watch his concentration, keeps the ball high. Jeremiah Tillman having a, himself a night. Men's basketball on BTN is brought to you by State Farm. Here to help life go right. Talk to a State Farm agent today. Stan Musial Veterans Memorial Bridge. That bridge connecting these two states. Bragging rights way. And Missouri and Illinois battling in a one-point game. And that's why the bridge is empty, because everybody's in the in this building right now, rocking their colors. I mean, we've seen some wonderful gold and black and orange and blue. There's some Illini fans in the Missouri, Missouri side, and there's Missouri fans in the Illini side. Tillman good at the line. He's got 14. Nine rebounds to go with it. Missouri 17 and 2 when he's been in double figures over the last two years. Osumu trying to leave it in traffic and it's taken away. Missouri by a pair. Pinson, another great lead. Smith floats to the rim. No, but Pinson floating in with the tip in. Yeah, Xavier Pinson, once he settled down, he, got, he has some early game jitters. But he's really provided positive minutes for Missouri. Here's Frazier. He's got 26. Gets it right back. Pinson all over it. 10 to shoot. And a foul on Pinson, his third, and that'll send Frazier back to the line. Xavier Pinson showing some of the skills that have made him very coveted here at Missouri. Yeah, did a really good job. Nobody boxed him out. Nice timing on the offensive tap in. And he is a player from a long line of Chicago Simeon greats. A couple of them played on this floor with me about 30 years ago. <laughs> Nick Anderson and Irvin Small. Front end missed. Third time tonight, Illinois missed a front end. In a game where there's a very small margin of error that may come back and haunt the Illini. And the rebound for Tillman gives him a double-double now. Second straight. The skip, pick it, open for three. A front end miss and a three as the answer from Missouri, stretching the lead to seven. They have really done what we expected. Every time the Illini made a run, Missouri makes a run. When Missouri makes a run, the Illini make a run. And think about this now. Geist has not been involved here. So they're getting really good contributions from Pickett, from Perrier, and also uh, Mark Smith. Man, there's so much excitement in the building. Kevin, I can't get my words out. <laughs> 6.22 to go. Pickett walking out with a five for five night. 12 points, four rebounds, and an assist in 22 minutes for Javon Pickett. One of the three ties between the two schools. A former Illinois commit, now a Missouri Tiger. He was a ninth best recruit in Illinois coming out last year. 
Pace in the 8-0 scoring run here to open up the seven-point lead. I like to see these guys having some success in this situation. Says a lot about their character. Nice bounce back to Frazier to the rim. We'll give him go game. Bishanis Billing to Frazier. And then the ball out of bounds. Last touch by Felice. It's a big bucket, though, for Illinois right there. Yeah, and you, you think that uh, Brad Underwood may call that play once again. It was a brought Bishanis Billy right to the free throw line. It cut the scissor cut the guards to the rim. Nice execution. Geist back on the floor. See how he's moving around on that leg. Been working on it for the better portion of the second half. One-on-one -on -one with Frazier. Gets the screen from Tillman. Now the double. Pushing Geist out near the timeline. Geist in trouble. Almost turned it over. Smith ahead to pick it. The leader falls. Still perfect. Javon Pickett has 14. Yeah, Mizzou was very fortunate that situation. And Felice, tough shot. Rebounded by Pernier. Now Geist is going to gut it out. You can believe that. They have really been good in this pick and roll situation. Geist into the corner. Per year open look. The three falls. Largest lead of the night for the Missouri Tigers. The floor spacing, sharing of the basketball by Missouri the last few minutes really, really well. Thought about the three. Big man said no. Felice will try the baseline, and he's fouled by Pickett. Third Pickett foul. Tenth team foul. Two free throws the rest of the way for Illinois. And Javon Pickett. And Kevin Perrier has that's the second three that he's got in that corner pocket. He likes that shot. But the floor spacing out of the pick and roll set by Missouri has allowed them to get different looks based on what the Illini are doing defensively. Felice. This in the first, one more to come. Incidentally, Stephen, that three that Puryear just hit that opened up the 10-point lead has moved Kevin Puryear up the Missouri scoring list. He just passed Norm Stewart. Oh, wow. Storm and Norman. Score. I know you saw a little bit of action from the floor with him on the sideline. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. Legendary coach from Missouri, Norm Stewart, one of the best. Infuriated fan bases <laughs> coast to coast. <laughs> With good teams and intense coaching on the sidelines. Geist looking for room. None there. Geist on the floor, and the tie-up is going to keep it with Missouri. Eight on the shot clock. How do you fall to the floor with the possession, and there's no call? Watch Geist. Oh, okay, because he lost it and then fell on top. That's why, that's why I'm not a ref. <laughs> that's why I keep my mouth shut and stay in my lane. Guy still inbound. Eight to shoot. Missouri by ten. Smith inside with a left hand. Tiger stretching now to a 12-point advantage. Where is the answer for Illinois? It's been Frazier tonight. Steps back for an open three. Nichols, offensive rebound and a foul. Courier's fourth. Missouri fans are booing. They thought there should have been an offensive foul on Frazier, and it almost got called. It did. Uh, Rob Riley was right there. He wanted to make the call, but he held off. And on the backside, Kipper Nichols, going back to the line with the Illini, have struggled all night long. This is where you need your veteran players, if you're the Illini, to step up. This can't be in a game like this and not take advantage of the opportunities that are given to you. Missouri is too good of a team where you can miss free throws and still find your way back into this game. They've missed their last four at the line. Not to mention, Illinois has seen the three-point shot disappear in this second half. One for ten from three for Illinois. Well, Jordan Geis is a gamer. He's got blood on his arm. He took his sleeve and wrapped it around his arm so you can't see it. 
I think. I don't know what the. I think they've got to clean up the floor a little bit, so they're going to send both teams to the side while they clean up that blood. And it looks like the officials are talking to themselves like, well, who's bleeding? <laughs> they can't figure it out because Geis got the arm sleeve up quickly. They're just going to send everybody to the sidelines so they can figure this thing out. A lot of gamesmanship in this game, game inside of the game. A lot of things going on. Guys are locked in. Well, Missouri has seen a lot of heroic performances tonight, but Jordan Geis has been terrific. He really has, and you want your seniors to step up in this scenario. And this sequence that we're showing, we were the Alana had control of the game, but Geis was able to step up and hit some daggers to put them in, in the lead to get them going in the right track. And another miss at the line. Five straight errant free throws. Down the stretch for Illinois. And the pressure ratcheted up. Well, Missouri has gotten the pace of the game to where they want it. It's a half-court battle. And as long as Geis has the ball in his hand, the right decision is usually going to be made. Underneath, Geis finds the open man. It's Javon Pickett, who's seven for seven from the floor. Quick three, way off, rebound, Watson. And then he lost it out of bounds to Illinois. Dosumu, typical freshman, thinking that you can get a 10-point shot. Very fortunate the Illini get this ball back. The Missouri Tigers have outscored Illinois 17 to 2 over the last 354. Easy buckets like that from Javon Pickett, pacing the Tigers. An hour long addition to the big show? And why is there excitement in Mike Hall's voice? Because he's excited about an hour long addition of the big show, of course. <laughs> that's double the Mike Hall. That's right. Yeah, there's a little something else that's got him excited. It's Christmas season. That's got to be it. Well, the second-half numbers have certainly favored Missouri, and the second-half score certainly favoring Missouri. Illinois in the second half, three-pointers, one for 11. Free throws, six for 11, including five straight misses. They're 50% at the line tonight. This is not a great free-throw shooting team as it is. They came in as a team at 68%, below that average tonight. Uh, you got to tip your hat to Missouri because they've matched the intensity that the Illini like to play with. Big three here, but it rims out. Offensive rebound and the putback. Bishanishvili. Nice job by Bishanishvili. Getting himself opposite of the ball. Smith with a bullet down low to Tillman. Tillman can't get it to go. Got his own and follows it up with another pair. Well, he went right at Kipper Nichols, didn't he? No hesitation whatsoever. Ball loose. Osumu fortunate to get it back. Here's Trent Frazier. He's got 28. Nichols with 13 to shoot. He's trying to find some space. Got some, but didn't get the roll. And then a battle for the rebound. Bishanish Billy hits the deck. Still down. Tillman hits the deck. Who gets the foul? That's the Let's see. Floater. Bashanis Vili. Tillman hit the deck. I think they may have got Georgie. Bashanis Vili on the foul. I believe they did, and now they're going to look at it just to make sure that there's not a hook and hold oh. down there. I mean, this has been the emphasis all year long. The hook and hold added this year in a non rules change year. But it's something that the officials can go and check, and that's going to be something that they're it's going to be close. find something there. Yeah, it, and I think Tillman was trying to keep his balance right there as he kind of locked down on Georgie's arm. I think this might be one of those plays. Well, it's a player safety issue, which is why they could institute this change in a non-rule change year. They're shaking their head after they've looked at it. I'm not sure there's anything there. It was close. You'll get the official word here, Stephen Bardo will. So they indeed are looking or were looking 
for the hook and hold down there in the battle between Vishanishvili and Jeremiah Tillman. Looking for the hook and hold, but Steven didn't see anything? Yeah, he didn't see anything at all. Just a common foul on uh, Vishanishvili over the back. Good job by the officials getting it right. 2.40 to go. Missouri by 14 with the ball. Three-quarter court pressure is only the second time we've seen this from Illinois all night. Now the trap employed on Smith, and Smith in some trouble. Ball carries back to Geist. That's kind of been the story of the second half for Missouri. They've gotten a few more bounces. They really have. And then a foul. Dosumu with 13 on the shot clock commits the foul on a one-on-one -on -one opportunity now. This stage might be a little big for Io right now. He seems to be out of it. Remember, he got that quick foul, then he got the technical, and then he had to sit on the bench, and he's been playing on eggshells all night long. This is an easy call. Two hands right there on Geist. I mean, right there for everyone to see. His fourth. And Geist for the one-on-one. -on -one. 76% on the year, two for two tonight. And he'll get the bonus. A lot of motivation here for Missouri. Illini had a nice winning streak coming into this. And believe me, Missouri's fan base let them know that before this game. Speaking of win streaks, if Missouri hangs on, that's five straight wins for this Tigers team. All of a sudden, eight and three. And the team will start talking about when it comes time for SEC play. That's right. Frazier, step back three for Frazier, rolls off, Smith the rebound. Mark Smith trying to be two for two in this series. Yeah, it is, isn't that something? Won it last year with Illinois, trying to win it this year with Missouri. He's going to be a great trivia answer. <laughs> he is. 150 to go. Pick it. Backing it out with nine to shoot. Now pick it on the attack. Spins to the rim. Missed the layup and nickels the rebound. But Missouri by 16. Dosumu lost it on the way in. Turnover back to Missouri. Number 13, the turnover for Illinois. Well, Brad Underwood is beside himself trying to get somebody in the game. Well, don't forget when the action ends, the special hour-long edition of the Big Show takes over. Highlights from around the conference. Nine teams playing. Post-game reaction straight from the arena and in-depth expert analysis. The Big Show after the game. Right here on BTN, I call on John Crispin, waiting in our studio per year. Looking to drive. Pick it now, backing it out. Missouri really feeling it now. They really are. They, they're taking good care of the basketball underneath with this pressure. And an offensive foul on Geist to turn it back over his third. One of the few calls that went against Jordan Geist. I mean, he's cramping. He's overcoming a little, got banged up a little earlier in the first half. He's been really good against this pressure. Steven, there are a lot of cliches we can throw out about basketball teams, but I think this one that I'm about to throw out applies to Missouri. They are starting to really look like the identity of their head coach in Conzo Martin. I don't think you could have said it better, Kevin. Geist after the turnover, driving it up, gives to Tillman, and he misses the exclamation point. The chase to the other end, and it's tipped out of bounds by Missouri. Jeremiah Tillman was trying to bring the ceiling down in the Enterprise Center. Well, Jeremiah Tillman just across the river from East St. Louis, and that was that one was for the East St. Louis fans right there. I mean, he brought this hammer back. It almost carried him to East St. Louis. It sure did. And I thought the Illini were going to let it roll out of bounds, but well-deserved applause for Jeremiah Tillman. Tillman leaves with a double-double. Under the weather all week long. He didn't look at tonight. Under a minute to play. Ishanis Billy can't get it to go. Rebound, Geist. And Missouri with a 16-point lead. About to break a five-game losing streak to Illinois. And this young man with the basketball has a lot to do with it. Boy, he was superb tonight. He did everything but sell popcorn at halftime. Battle in a bum leg. Geist fires the three. There's the explanation point. Geist from deep. He's got 20. 
And Missouri by 19, running away with bragging rights. Jordan will launch, and he will hit. Just the second made three in the second half for Illinois. But it's not going to be enough. And Missouri is going to have bragging rights for a year in a big way. Impressive. Missouri Tigers handled all the pressure, made all the plays at the right time. 79-63. They snapped the losing streak. And now for the next year, Tiger fans have the hand up on Illinois with bragging rights here in St. Louis. Andy Katz is standing by with the head coach of Missouri, Conzo Martin. All right, thank you, Kevin. Conzo, you were pumped. What's the significance for you and Missouri winning this game? Well, you know, I try to play it down, but since we won the game, I can be real. I was born in St. Louis. My mom moved to the east side. So all my family's on the St. Louis side. I'm from East St. Louis, Illinois. So it's big, and I watched it for years. So since we won, I can, I can let I, I'm excited right now, but it's a big win for our program. We lost five straight, came up big tonight. Mark Smith has the rare situation of playing in this game twice, and he's 2-0. and I saw you give him a big hug. What's the importance for him to win this game with a new team? Well, he's 2-0. A special kid. He puts the time into it, so you want to see him be successful. Uh, wonderful guy. I'm, I'm excited for our team. Again, this five straight Christmas, and I've been unhappy. But we lost five in a row. We got this one, so it feels good. But, Conzo, how did you guys change the narrative of that second half? Because they had made that surge back, and then you guys just completely took over. How did it happen? Well, what happens is it was a unique style last year. I told our guys I got to take the majority of the blame for the loss last year. We struggled. They scored 42 points in the first half. We had 22. But you watch film and you study it. You really got to drive the ball. You got to be able to make one-on-one -on -one plays. And we did that. We made shots. So, ball game. Appreciate it, Conzo. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. Back to you guys. The Bragging Rights Trophy is going to be one of the tallest trophies in the history of basketball. And now it goes back to Missouri. And well-deserved. Missouri, they really did well down the stretch. They were able to handle the pressure in the building. And they thrived off of it. What a ball game tonight. The intensity at a peak. But Missouri... Pulls away for the 79-63 win. Stay tuned for the big show coming up next. This has been an exclusive presentation of the Big Ten Network. For Stephen Barton, Andy Katz, and our entire BTN crew, I'm Kevin Kugler saying good night and happy holidays from St. Louis.